Hey everyone, Luke here with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Need to Know Show, we're going to talk about returning to hiking and backpacking and mountaineering after knee replacement surgery. What are some tips and some advice I would provide? So before I jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications so you can catch all of our latest videos related to knee replacement surgery. So these are just some of the general tips and advice I like to give folks. Um, none of these are based on, you know, um, you know, hard proof, hard research or evidence or anything, but just things that are, you know, more common sense um, types of advice that I like to give people who, after knee replacement surgery, want to return to hiking or mountaineering or um, backpacking, whatever you'd like to refer to it as or whatever it is you're doing. So first thing is you want to give it some time, some time after surgery. So again, no set in stone time frame, but usually I tell people you want to give, you know, 12 weeks, give or take a week here or there to really get back into something that is a little more intensive. Now, I definitely have some folks who are back hiking it at six weeks or nine weeks, but you know, for most people, give it that good three months, really focus on your physical therapy, focus on building your strength, building your range of motion, doing a lot of regular walking before you start to tackle something a little more intensive such as this. Um, again, you know, we wanna start small. So when you do go back to this activity, start small. So start at a low duration, how long you're doing it, go a shorter distance. Think about the incline or the terrain that you're hiking or walking on and, you know, make that relatively easy to start. And then progressively increase over time. And use your body and your knee as kind of that guide. So, um, you know, how did my knee tolerate that? Did I have a lot of pain, stiffness, swelling after that hike, after that um, climb? If I did, maybe I want to ease off of that a little bit. Maybe I want to give myself a little extra rest, a few more days of rest before I try again. Um, maybe I don't want to progress the intensity quite yet. But maybe if your knee does tolerate very well and you don't really have any sharp increase in symptoms, you don't really have a significant increase in swelling or anything, um, felt pretty good, then that's your cue to progressively increase a little bit. Maybe I walk a little further. Maybe I increase the incline a little bit. Whatever that may be to slowly, progressively get back to, you know, the level and the intensity that, that you, in the end, want to be at. And this can take a very long time. This can take a number of weeks, a number of months, maybe even longer than that, depending on, you know, where you're starting from and where you're trying to get to. Some other things to think about is you want to think about a little bit of a warm up and a cool down. So your warm up and cool down might just be walking on level ground or on the sidewalks, or for example, instead of out on the, you know, the trails and the terrain. Maybe your warm up is doing some stretches or doing some of your physical therapy exercises um, at home or somewhere before you go out to do that hike. Um, something like that just to warm up the knee warm up the, the muscles, get some blood flow, and then also as a cool down as well. And this hopefully will help prevent um, some of that muscle soreness, um, stiffness that you might feel after doing an activity that's a little more intensive. Some other common sense things, you know, make sure you have good fitting, appropriate footwear that's supportive. Um, make sure you're trying your best to avoid hazardous conditions, especially as you're starting to just get back into it. So, you know, rainy, wet, really rough and rocky terrain or ground, um, you know, hiking in the daytime where pl plenty of light rather than, you know, in the dark at night or when it's overcast, for example. Walking with someone is really a beneficial thing and also having a cell phone available, obviously just as a safety procedure, um, you know, God forbid something happens, you have someone who can go for help or you can call for help on your cell phone. Um, some other important tips is hiking poles. Hiking poles are a great option for regular, you know, people who haven't had knee replacement surgery as well as people after surgery. Um, gives you a little bit of support, helps keep you feeling standing upright with good posture as you're walking. Um, really recommend hiking poles. 
limit the size of your pack as much as possible. You know, we don't want to go day one carrying this big pack with all this gear on it that's 40 pounds in weight. Try to limit that as much as possible. Do, you know, a shorter hike to start. And then kind of, again, just like everything else, kind of build that up as you can tolerate. Make sure you're staying hydrated. Make sure you're taking, um, eating plenty of good foods and getting good nutrients in your body so you have the energy to tolerate these activities. And just understand that you may have some symptoms. You are probably, you know, after doing something like this, you might have some pain, some stiffness, swelling, um, just general discomfort. And that's okay. That's, you know, likely to happen, especially if you're just starting to get back into this activity. Um, but just understand that that's kind of your body's signal to say, okay, you know, we're, we're getting back into this. Let's not overdo it. Let's not do so much that we're, you know, setting ourselves back for the next week or more. Um, you know, a little bit of discomfort that kind of goes away within the next day or so. You know, that's, that's okay. That's a good, a good um, um, signal. Anything more than that, you know, that's your cue that, you know, let's ease off on the intensity. If that's how far we're walking, if that's the, you know, the difficulty level of the hike or the, the, the mountaineering, um, just kind of playing around with that intensity and that duration and volume that you're doing. And just take lots of rests early on, you know, have more rest days than active hiking days, especially early on, just to allow the knee to adapt and recover and get back and uh, used to doing this activity and tolerating it. And this is active rest, you know, you don't have to lay on the couch and do nothing at all. You know, you can do some, some other exercises, you can do some, like a recumbent bike or an elliptical machine a little bit, maybe get in the pool, things of that nature. And my final piece of advice would just be have fun and enjoy being able to return to this activity and this form of exercise and, you know, have fun and enjoy it and be happy that your knee replacement is most likely a success because you're able to get back to doing these activities in some form or another. So thank you very much for watching. Please leave your comments, your questions below. They're always appreciated and I do my best to get back to them. Hit that like button to help spread this video. Thank you again.